is in the air. The NASCAR Xfinity Series is racing at Watkins Glen International. Ty Gibbs, for the moment, not close enough to pull up a pass on the leader, A.J. Allmendinger. Physical racing at the front of the field. Ty Gibbs forcing Austin Sindrick wide. Sindrick now has to play defense. Start number 10, win number 3. The kid has done it yet again. Ty Gibbs, final time, off 7. Onto the front straightaway, under the checkered flag. Definitely water or soda in, in that drink right there. Uh, Ty's monster, right? Ty Gibbs has been a force this season. The 18-year-old has made it. He made his first Xfinity Series start at the Daytona Road Course. Week one of the season, he won that race and has backed it up almost every single time he's been on the track in 10 starts. He has three wins, eight top fives, and this past weekend he earned his second road course victory of the season. Again, beating some of the very best road course drivers in this series. So with that, we say hello to Ty, who joins us now. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes to join us here on The Hub. Listen, the stats really do tell the story of your season, but those are just numbers on a page. You are actually living all of these moments every single week. So when you kind of reflect on the season so far, Ty, what makes you the proudest? Uh, you know, I feel like just enjoying every moment. I feel like that's like the biggest key. I, you know, I'm, I'm very proud of my team and, you know, people closely that work with me and my family. Uh, it's just been a it's been a wonderful year and I couldn't do with all everybody else's help. Um, so it's been it's been awesome. Well, you've certainly done a phenomenal job, Ty. And I think for the Thank fans you. and viewers at home, one of the things that maybe gets lost in this conversation is that you're 18 years old. I'm sure, you've had a lot of success, but at 18, you're, of course, winning races in the ARCA series, winning races in the Xfinity series, uh, dealing with a pandemic. I mean, all these crazy things going on in your life. I want to know how you're handling it. What's a day like for you? For you? Uh, you know, I feel like a, a good day, day like for me is, you know, I, I always like to, you know, get up early and do my workouts because that's the hardest thing I feel like of the day and you get it done early and uh, the rest is, you know, fun and games, playing racing or, you know, studying it. I uh, spend all day studying. I just graduated high school in May. So, um, you know, I'm all racing now and um, I, all I do is kind of just do as much as I can to get the best finish I can for the weekend. And I've got a dog I try to take care of too. So that's always uh, something. Some get, responsibility. Getting up so, early was not a sentence yes. I knew when I was 18 <laughs> no. years old. I'll just let you know no. that right now. Uh, I know to you, it's, he's Grandpa Joe, right? But to all of us, he is a living legend. Of course, Joe Gibbs. And you mentioned your family. And this sport is so much about family, Ty. What is it like for you when you see him come to victory lane and give you a big hug and, and just see the pride in his eyes? Yeah, you know, it's it's always great to have my family there. And, and I have my mom and my mom and dad take turns every week on coming because uh, they're always all over. And um, it's always awesome to have my family there. And uh, it's 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 just great to have your closest supporters at the racetrack watching you do what you love. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't want to have it any way differently. Well, Ty, thanks again for coming on tonight. And obviously your season has been fantastic so far. Ten races into it, three wins. You've got uh, you got five more races to go. Where where do you think you're going to be challenged the most next? You've got you got five more. What's the most difficult venue you're going to? Do you feel? Uh, I feel like the most difficult venue for me um, that I'm probably going to go to is um, probably going back to Martinsville. I feel like that's one of the places where I kind of struggled in the most out of my Xfinity um, races. I feel like you know I really didn't feel like I just couldn't get a, a rhythm in. Um, and, and I don't know, I feel like there's something to be learned there and hopefully I can learn it when I go back. Yeah, well, you've beat a lot of big names already, so I'm sure Martinsville is going to be tough, but Thank you. it hasn't looked that tough so far, Ty. Uh, I'm curious of the big names you've beat, what's that like and what stands out to you? I mean, these are some real pros you're racing. Austin Sindrick, A.J. Almaty are on a road course. I mean, they're as good as it gets. You've got great competitors, too, with your teammates there as well, with Daniel Hamrick, who uh, is right on the edge, it feels like, of winning a race every week. And uh, So tell us what it's like racing against some of these big names. Yeah, you know, it's it's definitely really different because, like, uh, for me, being 18, I just moved up into the Xfinity Series and um, kind of a little starstruck by racing next to these guys, Justin Allgaier, A.J. Allmendinger, Austin Sindrick. You know, watching them kind of race in the last four or five years, um, even more longer than that, it's pretty cool to race them. And just to see how the NASCAR ranks work and see how, you know, good those drivers are, it's 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 really cool. 
Well, Ty, it's a lot of fun to watch you on the track, obviously. You're a breath of fresh air. Congratulations on all the success so far this season, and good luck. I can't wait to watch. Every time you unload, I just am, it's awesome to watch you on the track. Thank you. Thank you guys for letting me come on. It's always a pleasure. All right, as we mentioned, Gibbs is running for a championship in the Arcus, Arca Menard Series as well. And it is quite the battle right now between he and Corey Heim. So there's five points that are separating those two in the Arca Series, just seven races left. He has seven wins in the Arca Series to add to his three in the Xfinity Series. I mean, it, like I mentioned, it's so much fun to watch him every single week. The talent is just, I mean, it's undeniable. Do you remember a time when you saw a, such a young driver have so much talent? Yeah, I mean, the closest comparison I can make, Shannon, is probably Joey Logano. You know, 18 years old, he was running the Xfinity Series for Joe Gibbs. Mm -hmm. A lot of parallels there. And uh, other than that, I don't think we've ever seen a driver at this age be this successful. What do you do with a young driver who has so much talent but is so young? How do you continue to help him grow? Well, I think what's important is to make sure you're, you're lifting him up. You know, you have to keep the expectations uh, reasonable as you're going through because it's easy for somebody young to get deflated pretty quickly if they go on a, a, a downward spiral for a few weeks. It really is. So keep him surrounded by people that are going to lift him up and build him up and, and make sure you're trying to get him somebody that he can use as a cornerstone, right? Let's say, for instance, like William Byron and Rudy Fugel, right? Mm -hmm. They developed together for a couple years ago. We put them back together. Man, that comfort level was there and they started to perform well. Uh, Jimmy and myself or somebody along those lines. It's really important to have somebody that the driver can lean on and use as a pillar. I'm going to say this and you're going to say no way. It's always awesome to win. But winning that much too soon? Mm -hmm. Is there is there a balance? Is there are there any challenges? I think there's worse problems than that. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I think there's worse problems than that. that. <laughs> a lot of people would train. Uh, but that said, that. it can be a problem <laughs> if you let it be. And, and like Chad said, the, the challenge that comes with that is now the bar gets set continuously higher and higher and higher. And eventually, like any bar, you're not going to meet it. And when that happens, really the question is, how will you react? Will you get deflated? Can you overcome that? You know, adjust, adapt, and come back and be stronger. And that's where the... For more great NASCAR on Fox content, subscribe to our channel. It's somewhere right around here.